Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand relation attributes and tuples in relational database management systems. In short, we call it as RDBMS. So before that, before understanding these uh, uh, terms in RDBMS, we will try to understand what is a relational model. A relational model represents the database as a collection of relations. So what the relation model? So this is a, a model where, where the database is uh, the database is called as the, the, the database is considered as a, a collection the collection of relations so what is meant by a relation a relation so uh, a relation means informally a relation is informally known as a table of values so in uh, in the relational model a database is considered as the collection of relations so what is meant by a relation a relation is informally for better understanding a relation is informally considered as the table of values so we'll try to understand this concept uh, clearly by using our concept of er diagrams so this er diagram uh, uh, er diagram in the sense this is an entity type called employee in our previous classes where we have discussed about ER models there we have considered employee as an entity type so what is that entity type it is the uh, it is the uh, it is an entity with physical existence so employees an entity of a company with physical existence and these are what we call it as attributes so the attributes are called as a properties of an entity type so this entity type employee is going to store all the entities all the entities which have those common properties which we call it as employees so this is the ER diagram that we have obtained for uh, uh, entity type employee and these are the properties now now what does the relational model states is a relation so the database is the collection of relations a relation relation is informally known as a table of values so this employee so we have to convert this employee into something which can be stored on the database so this entity type employee is what we call it as is, is what we call it as a relation is what we call it as a table the relation means from now on just consider it as a table so this employee is what we call it as a, a, a relation or table so what does a table consist of a table consists of rows and columns so what are and how these attributes are represented on this relation attributes are the properties and those attributes are represented as columns so informally what does the uh, what does the table consists of a table consists of rows and columns so the columns the properties of the at, uh, the properties of the entity type which we call it as attributes are represented as columns so the what are the attributes here here we have name name is considered as a one column and the next one is 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 another column because these are the properties of this entity type and dob date of birth is another property ssn is another property is what we call it as another column and the next one is salary so what about the rows rows of a table rows of a table is are going to be the entities of the entity type for example so what each row represents is each row represents an employee in the company okay this so what you have to understand is this is making this is this is converting this concept of relational model is converting the uh, existence of the uh, uh, the entities of a of an organization in our case it is a company for example if you want to de design a database for any organization so what we have to store we have to store the uh, entities details so that is what we call it as database database management right the data of the entities of the company are to be managed the entities can be of physical entities or conceptual entities 
okay that data needs to be managed for that we have to we have to collect what kind of entities are there in that company now these entities are getting converted into a structure or a data structure which we call it as a table table is a data structure so this entity types are getting converted into data structures which are capable so these data structures can be stored on a computer these data structures using these data structures so this table we can store the data okay so now each row represents the tuple so in formally we call it as a tuple and attribute is we call it as columns and this entire thing is what we call it as a relation this entire table is what we call it as relation columns we call it as attributes and tuples we call it as rows so each row for example employee 1 is 35 date of birth some uh, july uh, 7th july and ssn 1234 and salary 10000 okay so this is each row if you take another row employee 2 is 40 something 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 so each row is representing an entity and each column is representing the property of an entity and the collection of all those all those entities which we call it as we call it as relation and the collection of all the relations is what we call it as a database try to get that point a database okay so now now uh, how to represent this key attribute in this also we are going to represent the key attribute as a, with underline and this key attribute is what we call it as primary key of a table so what is this primary key and what are the different key constraints that are available that we will try to understand in our later classes as of now at this point of time so the relation is what we call it as a table and each column is what we call it as a property of the entities and each row is representing an entity in the company database an employee entity in the company database database okay so this is this is all about uh, uh, relation attribute and tuples in rdbms hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching